be cold. She belongs to the streets. What's good, y'all? And welcome back to Mo Dollars TV. Could have been anywhere in the world, but you're here with me, and I appreciate that. So today, we got some more thoughtness from you guys. Apparently, Aaliyah J has been up to no good. Now, I know you heard about it. It's kind of been all over the internet today. The guy that she's been up to no good with, I guess he's been feeling a little salty because she's in Colorado with Menelik. Because, um, you know, they fake got back together and shit like that. I told y'all it's not going to last long, so don't even worry about that. So the guy, apparently he got a little salty about what was going on. He took to his Instagram page. Well, actually, the first person to post the photos, I think, was one of his homeboys. It wasn't him officially. Um, it was one of his homeboys who posted to his page. I'm going to show you guys the first uh, photo. So, after that, I guess it kind of went from there. And then the guy actually went on live um, to talk about the situation, but not really talk about the situation. Check it out. And it's like, y'all got your own opinion about it. But my opinion is you're not about to belittle me because you think you own this higher statue. Like, that don't matter. To me, I'm a regular person. I looked at you like you were a regular person. I respected you like you was a regular person. So you, for you to come out and disrespect me, and I ain't never disrespect you, I said, all right, copy. Now I'm grabbing your pussy. Now what? We linked for my birthday. And yo, y'all asking me if I, if I did certain things with her. Like, look at the pictures. Look at what I'm doing in the pictures. Like, you know what I mean? But don't play with me. Y'all keep thinking that I'm a regular but how the f did I get next to her? Obviously, it's something about me that's not regular. You caught feelings and she didn't want you. It's crazy because I actually didn't want to be with her. I keep saying I was a side. How, how could I be a side? It, it didn't go viral viral yet like it hasn't reached the shade room teens it hasn't really reached the uh the bigger platforms yet but like a smaller platform i don't even know how they got wind of it maybe they knew him or knew somebody that knew somebody um because his, they're not like big people on the internet so i don't really know how it got out like that but whatever it's out now and um I've just been paying attention to little things about the photos. Now, if you look in the photos, for one, the photos are definitely them in the same room, for sure. For two, if you guys remember her Vlogmas video, um, I think it was the first Vlogmas video um, that she recorded. Let me show you guys guys so okay so i got in the house and a lot has happened already um so for one i changed my hair um because honestly it's super cute so i just got um i came here because me and justin are going uh ice skating tomorrow and i wake up late and i'm just not a person that needs to I'm just not a person that can wake up early and head to the city. Like, I have to actually, like, be in the same area of what I'm doing. It's actually kind of sad, but... So, in this Vlogmas video, all the way at the end, 
she's in a hotel in Manhattan. Now, her excuse for being in a hotel room was the fact that she was meeting Justin and her friends tomorrow to go ice skating in the city, right? That was the excuse that she said she was in a hotel room for, saying like, oh, I get up late and I am always late to everything, so I figure I already be in the city, so I won't be late, yada, 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 yada. It's a bunch of bullshit. You was in the hotel room because you was meeting some nigga that night. And these pictures prove exactly what you were really doing in the hotel room. It wasn't about you being laid or anything, yada, yada, yada. If you look at the picture that the guy took, it's right at the entrance to that hotel room. Check it out. Right at the entrance, you see the there's a a ledge there with a mirror, and then there's a little uh what are those called? Um, I forgot, but we're gonna say stool for today because I can't even think of what it's called. But it's that right there. So his feet is on that. He's sitting on the ledge, and the mirror's right behind him. Now, at this time, her and Menelik was not together i don't think this is when they were beefing so technically she wasn't cheating she was just being a hoe he called she belongs to the streets that's what i call it because like there's no way that you break up with your man and you already got some other nigga in your bed like that's to me that's just like that's crazy i'm not saying you can't talk to nobody but to have somebody already in your bed and then check this other photo out. This is the photo to me that's just insane. Check it out. You got some nigga, some new nigga, some old nigga grabbing you by the pussy on some Donald Trump shit. You can do anything. Whatever you want. Grab him by the pussy. And you just got out of a relationship, but really wasn't out of a relationship because y'all been going back and forth. So technically, you were, you were single, but you wasn't single. Like, y'all kind of still was figuring out what y'all wanted to do. So technically, you wasn't really that single for you to be doing this shit. I don't know how this is going to play out because they look like they back together at this point. I think that they fake trying to work it out. Even though it's not going to work. We all know that. But yeah, I think they fake trying to work it out. What's crazy to me is how much this guy resembles her ex, Rel. Now, a lot of people, <laughs> if you look at the comments on like a lot of the posts, like everybody was saying like how her taste is just bum ass niggas. Like she just like bum ass niggas. Like, I mean, I don't, I don't, he doesn't, I'm not saying that this guy is a bum. He doesn't look like he, he looks like a typical hood nigga. He doesn't look like nothing, like he's doing anything extravagant. He look like he's in the streets and he do his little one, two thing and get a couple dollars. But it, it just seems like, like it's never going to work if you keep picking these same type of niggas. Like, you, her taste, I mean, I guess her taste is her taste. I guess that's what it is. Like, you can't fault nobody for who they choose or what their taste is. Her taste is just not good taste. When you're not carrying yourself like a wife, you're not going to get wifed. You're going to be in these situations time and time and time again. So, you know, it's going to be what it's going to be. But... Hopefully, soon, we'll see what this turns out to. I'm sure they got wind of what was happening, and 
it's going to be something soon. But we're going to keep you guys posted on what's happening with this whole ordeal. That's going to conclude this video. If you know, make sure you subscribe. If you're not new, make sure you drop a comment, drop a like. I'll see you guys in the next video.